Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings where you'll notice we are a few days forward and we're also a lot lower on the war score. We managed to invite a heir to Egypt to our realm and imprison him. Specifically, that was this guy. It was remarkable and I don't think we'd be able to do it again, which is why we're coming in partway through here. But that does buy us the time that we need to get this fort dealt with. Now, we need to move these guys northward over to here, and we have a bunch of other factions. If we have any of those pop, we will deal with them as we can. We're negative in our prestige and our cash at this moment, and problems are ensuing. In fact, I think that we should probably switch over to wealth focus here, just for the income increase. And we'll go ahead and do that. Liberty demand here, this is not surprising. We'll we'll say we have no choice. We're not going to fight these guys right now. We're already super weak on paper and we need to get consolidated here. That is our top priority, getting out of this war and consolidated. So we need to do that and we will certainly look to do so. So we're going to get this siege done in about five months, hopefully a little bit faster, but we're going to be bringing forces in to attack Cairo soon enough. I also think that we should head off over this direction and take some of these low-level castles. So I'm going to split off a force of levy troops here, about 10k of them. Something like that. And we're going to give them a... Let's see, a siege commander here. Here's one. We're going to take them out over to here. And then we're going to get another force, and we're going to take them a little bit further. Another 10k here. There we go. We're going to select them and grab another Siege Commander. That will be this guy. We're going to take them out over to here. And then we'll also want one down over this way. So we'll send a force out there as well. And that will just give us a little bit more space to replenish our forces. Let them resupply a little bit. So we'll send them out over here. Do we have another Siege Commander? The answer is maybe. Yes, this guy. Beautiful. So we'll do that, and we'll go take these level 1 castles. They won't take very long. Challenge for Artifact. We decline. Okay, so this siege is going to be done in allegedly 6 months. This war is over. And we'll see if this guy comes running directly at us. There's a Disillusion faction that was created against us. We definitely don't want to let them fire. So we need to get out of this Independence War as soon as we can. We'll white piece it as soon as that's possible. Like, the very moment it's possible. Because we need to get out of this and consolidate, put our forces down, and look a lot stronger on paper. That is our primary goal at this moment. So we're going to get this siege done shortly. We just gained 287 gold. That's not bad. 55 days left on this siege. 40 days left. 30. Uh, yes. Stop being rivals. Okay, this siege is now over. That's fantastic. It looks like they're running at us, so we're going to bring these guys over. I don't think they're going to be interested in this. No, they're heading southward. I like it. We're going to go start a slow siege on Cairo, but this is definitely going to be a very slow siege until our other forces show up. They are currently embarking, and they will be here shortly. In about five months. Beautiful. So ticking war score is on our side, and we just won in Sinai. We'll head up over to Farama, since that's another level one castle. Uh, she learned Arabic. Cool. And are you willing to white piece at this time? He has 34 reasons not to white piece. Okay. So we're going to finish up this fort. Faction organizing the Catholic populists. We could imprison this leader. Or we could just bribe him. And that's what we're going to do. We're losing money right now. No doubt about that. Show in this guy. He'll bring some cash. That's good. That's very, very good. So we will be arriving here with our siege weapons soon enough. These guys are currently almost capped out on the amount that they can get. So that's good. Sinai is under siege. They are attacking off over here. That's okay. I'm not too concerned about that right now. They can do that. Where is our primary siege force? They will be arriving here in 40 days. So we're going to take their capital. 
as soon as we can. There's a new claimant. Okay. Sure. And they're taking this territory back. That's fine for the moment. We're going to group this together. We're going to take their capital. And hopefully this will be enough to force them to white peace. That's the goal here. Sad. So now we're going to walk over this way and try to give battle. Failing that, we will siege over here. Ticking war scores on our side. And... This is very, very rapid sieging. We're going to split off our bombards as well as a siege force. Something like that. And these guys are going to look to give battle. We need to make as much war score as we can as quickly as possible. So I do want to get a siege commander here. This guy will do. Beautiful. That puts us at 0%. Not one day too soon, that guy died. Minus 16 reasons. Okay. This guy's running off over this way. We're going to head over here instead. This siege will be finishing. And that's why we're heading up here. Because he's going to come up this way. I'm pretty sure. We definitely can't afford that. There we go. We're at 2% war score now. Make that 14. Wow, that was worth a lot. And 25. He will now accept a white piece. We send that. Okay, white piece. We disband our troops. Okay, cool. So we're out of that war. We're now making money and prestige. We have these dangerous factions. So this guy can send his ultimatum at any time, but our troop count will recover somewhat. Now, this guy we're supposed to have an alliance with. This would cost us prestige. Hmm. We just don't have prestige for that. So what else can we do here? Like, we could definitely put this together, right? That's an option that we would have. Something like this. But it costs 150 prestige because of unfulfilled marriage favor. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, so let's take a quick look at this guy instead. This guy's also quite powerful. Do we have something that we can do here? Unfulfilled marriage favor. That's very interesting. I'm not sure what that's coming from. Okay. Very strange indeed. Well, we need to look at options here. So this is a faction to install the Sultan. This is Populists. I don't really care about the Populists. That's not too bad. This is Populists as well and Peasant Rabble. So this is the only threatening faction here. So what can we do? Are there any of these that we could potentially imprison? 56% chance here. Actually, there are things that we could do here. And that is we could hand out a number of these vassals. So this guy's just a count, right? So we could definitely pass that to this guy here. So we could grant this vassal like so. So that guy leaves that faction instantly. What else can we do here? Well, we've got a lot of duke levels. Like this guy. Now, is there a kingdom level out over here? Yes. We currently hold that. We could grant that to this guy. So that would be the kingdom level title. So the Sultanate of to hurt, Like this. Six vassals go with, and this will make him very happy. He now has 70 opinion of us. Cool. And that will be good. He desires this emirate. Uh, can we grant that vassal? Yes. There. He now has maxed opinion of us. So they're down to 345, and this guy will hopefully leave. What does the king of West Francia want? A seat on the council, mostly. 
More than anything else, he wants a seat on the council. So, what's he good at? He's actually a decent chancellor. We'll replace this guy for sure. Except we can't. We're blocked from removing this guy from the council. So, he's got better learning than our Grand Amala. So, we'll put him in there. Done. So, now he's at minus one opinion. What else does he not like? We're in debt. Council rights are guaranteed. High Crown Authority, no alliance. Unfortunately, we can't get an alliance. I would love to get an alliance here. We just simply can't. Indeed. I really wish we could. But alas, we're too negative in our prestige right now to do that. So this guy is mostly upset due to our offensive wars. Okay. What else can we continue to do here? So them together would be powerful enough. Um, 287. This is going to improve over time. Same with our debt. And they can't send their ultimatum for another four months. This guy will likely leave the faction. Wait, what? He just sent the demand. They can't send it for another four months. They're at 60 discontent. I feel like this is a bug. He should not be able to send this at this time. This guy can. Weird. Okay, um, we'll not be threatened, so we're going to have to fight this guy. And the question is, what do we need to take? So this guy is up over here. We can depart from, say, Norway here, in theory. We can drop our rally point here, raise our men-at-arms, raise our levy troops. How many are we going to need in total? Uh, he's got a lot, but they're going to be pretty spread out. I feel like we can do this. So there's those troops there. We're continuing to raise. What I'm going to do is I'm going to group these together, and then I'm going to split off all of these guys, which a lot of them have not re have not uh, been restored yet, due to us being in debt. And we're going to split off a good chunk of these. Almost all of them, in fact. It's very tedious, no doubt about that. We'll select like that. And then these guys are going to come down over this direction. Now, this is saying we'll lose decisively. For one thing, we have no leader. We'll probably lose. Okay, so we're just going to come down over here for now. I want to check in. Yes, we have all of our siege weapons here. So we're going to start our siege. We're going to head to his capital. We want to get this war over as quickly as possible. Because we need to do recovery. Serious, serious recovery. So we're going to put in a spy master here. Cool. Okay, so we get that. Attacker controls war target. This guy's the war leader, but he's not the claimant. Burgundy is the claimant. So I wonder if we actually have to take over Burgundy's capital? But we'll see. We'll head down over here for now, and I guess we'll just carve like a swath down towards Burgundy. We do siege very quick. So in theory, it should be fine. We are losing our mercenary contracts. That's expected. And we have too few spouses. We should fix that. Okay. And I think that's it. Cool. Okay. Cool. There we go. So we can head down over this direction. Yeah, attacker controls war target here. But let's go ahead and take over their capital. Hopefully that will get us ticking war score. We'll see. Fingers crossed on that one. Okay, that got us a lot. Uh, we captured an heir there. They would white piece. Do we want to white piece here? We'll keep it in our back pockets. For the time being, I want to win this war and put these guys in prison. That is my current overall goal. Now, we're going to split off our bombards here. 
as well as our standard siege force. This time we're going to go for about 20k. And these guys are going to walk up over here and look to fight. While these guys are going to continue to siege. Beautiful. That attacker controls war target is a potential issue. Honestly, do we just... Actually, he wouldn't accept a white piece right now. So we're going to head up over here. Okay, that guy used his hook. Yup, yup, yup. We had to grant pardons. That's okay. Cool. So we're fighting these French armies over here. And getting these sieges done. So he has a lot of troops. No doubt about that. I'm watching these guys and being concerned. We're going to walk over this direction. And yeah, this is very concerning. No doubt about it. It's all about that ticking war score. We have to end this now. So we offer the white piece, which he accepts, and we disband our troops. Okay. Whew. We got the white piece there. What other problems are we going to have? Populists, 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 peasant rabble. Okay. We can handle this. We need to enter a recovery period right now. So, at this point, we're going to go down into Golden Obligations. And we are going to ransom every prisoner that we can that is not our vassal. So, or do we just ransom everyone right now? Um, no, I think we ransom everyone that is not our vassal. So, the unfortunate thing here is that this is a very tedious process. There's no doubt about that. We've got a lot of these, but we want to make sure that we are not ransoming our vassals. Because we don't want them to join additional factions. We need to consolidate our power right now, bring our money back up, and our prestige back up. Those need to be our highest priorities at this moment. Once we get our money fixed, then everything else will just kind of fall into place. We're going to demand our hooks here to get all of this money. There we go. And we're going to ransom off all of these people that we can. We are also making a lot of money per month. But we need to get out of debt here. That is our absolute top priority at this moment. Absolute top. There is no higher priority at this moment. So, we're just getting all of these ransomed off. Or at least all of them that we can. And we're also going to grant these vassals over to their rightful lieges at this time. If they are a rightful liege, they will be granted. Cool. There we go. So those are all granted over. That will make the vassals much happier. And we're going to continue to ransom off these prisoners as we can. Beautiful. Uh, not you. Actually, yeah, you were fine. Never mind. <laughs> Cool. Just not vassals. So we are going to be getting a good chunk of gold out of this. I don't believe that this will bring us out of debt. But it will get us a good chunk of gold, and we're making a good, solid amount of gold at this time now, too. So we get this Sheik ransomed, all of these guys done. That Sultana will make a good bank for us. All good. Actually, this is a lot of, of ransoms. We may actually get there. We may actually get there, but we're still probably going to have a couple of rebellions. I can't believe we weathered that storm, though. That was insane that we managed to get all that done. That was very, very good. I like it. Okay, so we've got all these ransoms ticking in. These guys are languishing in our prison. Cool. Okay, what do we need right now? We need a chancellor. Um, actually, the Sultan of West Francia would be good here. And a steward. The Sultan of England. We'll try to bring his opinion up a bit, too. Cool. We gotta chill, though. There's no doubt about that. We have no option but to chill. Uh, this guy's fine. Basically, all of these ransoms are fine. As long as they're not our vassal. So we're digging our way out of debt. Once we dig our way out of debt, uh, this was, this is declined. We accept this, this feast attempt. That's absolutely fine. We accept all of these that are not our vassal, right? So that's, that's the primary goal here. 
And now that we've had our troops recover nicely, we appear to be out of the woods. I can't believe we got out of that without losing any territory. I thought for sure some of these guys would declare on us while we were dealing with that. But no, they chose not to. I like it. All of these are acceptable. We need to come out of debt as soon as possible. So that is our current goal. Okay, we do have another faction here. This is probably just populist, so I'm not too concerned about it. This ransom is actually acceptable. Yes, so showing the, jo the Sultan, Sultan Jurjur here with his 300 gold. Beautiful. We're well over halfway towards being out of debt. Our rival died. Cool. There's going to be a lot of that. Excellent. He learned Arabic. That's impressive. And we're going to take a break from offensive wars. Probably. Maybe for the rest of this guy's life. We'll see how long he ends up living. If we get solidly established, we'll probably start ex expanding again. But right now is not the time for that. So we can continue to ransom off a number of these. And we definitely do so. Uh, that didn't exactly go because of the pop-up. Ooh, a queen. Cool. So we're very, very close to being out of debt right now. I think that these ransoms will get us there, is my guess. So as long as we do not have any issues, well, actually, what we need at this point, in addition to gold, is prestige. We need to work up our prestige. There's no doubt about that. How rude. Okay. So we're about to be out of gold here. Excellent. Or rather, out of debt, not out of gold. We were already out of gold. So we're out of debt. That's all looking good. Uh, sure, we'll strike a deal with the Chief Mason. Hopefully, that will work. Getting us some prestige out of that. Gain 75 prestige? Sure. So we need to make our way out of debt, and a big way to do that would be usurping and creating titles. Another big way of doing that would, of course, be to call a hunt and host a feast. And that's going to be our primary method for the time being until our cash gets a little bit more reestablished. But our troop count is recovering nicely. No time for chit-chat. I'm getting that fox. We gotta get our prestige up. Uh, this guy, we decline. We return home reinvigorated, and now we host a feast. Done. Welcome, friends. And hopefully we get some decent prestige numbers out of this. What a good evening. You making a fool of yourself could never bore me. We gained 75 prestige there. I like it. Hopefully we get more out of this feast. What else do we have? Any moment now. Any moment now. Okay, apparently not very much. So this is acceptable for now. Until next time, 187. Okay, not the greatest, but not the worst either. And at this point, we need to start usurping titles. So the Kingdom of Songhai, actually the Empire of Mali, we definitely create this for 500 prestige. There we go. Then the Kingdom of Songhai, which we will personally hold for now. Cool. And then we've got the Duchy of Diofnu, which is going to need to be handed out. So we'll create that title, and that will go to this guy. It's only the recent title, Emirate of Diofnu. Perfect. Okay, so that puts us at minus 4728. We've got a few more of these that we can do. The Emirate of Dagomba will usurp that. That goes to this guy. There we go. And then the Emirate of Pura Jalan, that's over here. We'll use our, that one. That goes to this guy. Fantastic. Then the Emirate of Mamprusi over here, which we cannot usurp that because he's fighting a war. The Duchy of Jenny, which we'll go ahead and usurp. That goes here. Granted over to this guy. And then we'll demand his conversion. 100% chance of acceptance. Beautiful. And then the Duchy of Wagadugu, which we'll go ahead and usurp. And that will go to this guy. Emirate of Wagadugu. And we'll demand his conversion. He might accept. 
And finally, the Duchy of Wooly, which we'll go ahead and make. And that goes to this fine gentleman. Perfect. And he's already the correct religion, so that sounds good. What else do we have? Well, we've got the Emirate of Mampruzi, which we cannot do. We can demand a payment from this Sultan. And we'll go ahead and do so. And then we can ransom off the rest of these. We are definitely not low on gold anymore. So that's all fine. This guy refuses to convert, but that's okay. Excellent. Okay. And we'll ransom off a couple more of these. Cool. And that's all good. So we're at minus 3,000 prestige right now. We did just have an impeccable household. Propose alliance. We'll pass on that one. And the Emirate of Mampruzi, of course, this guy is currently fighting this war. So there's not a lot that we can do there right now. Okay. So minus 3,000 prestige. We definitely need to make some prestige here. No doubt about that. And we could theoretically swap off of Wealth Focus over into Majesty Focus. And that might not be a bad idea when we can again, which will be next year, August. Sounds good. But it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will work on re-establishing our position, strengthening, consolidating. I still can't believe we got out of that without losing territory. That's insane. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely bonkers. I'm shocked that none of these guys declared war on us during that. They should have. They absolutely should have. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including Casserol. My notepad didn't pop up. There we go. ALS Gamer, Kentuin, James, Shadowwolf, Mlohan80, Kentogen, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Kadra, Unisol, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.